Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2018, slot 2 DILR is based on Venn diagram. It says fun sports provides training in three different sports, Gilly Denda, Coco and Ludo. It has a total enrollment of 39 students, each of whom is enrolled in at least one of the three sports. So we we'll make a Venn diagram, Gilly Denda, Coco and Ludo. Now, uh, we will look at the statements that talk about numbers, like for example, the number of students only in L is double, okay. We clearly see a number 17 students enrolled in G, so we will put the number 17 here, okay. Then some more students, relation 1 less equals maximum, look at the last condition, it says 10 students enrolled in G are also enrolled in at least one more sport. So there are total 17 in G. It says that the sum of these three values is 10. So only G is going to be 7. So from these two we get this information. Now let us uh, read the statements. If you look at the third point now, it says the number of students only in G. We just calculated it. If 1 less than the number of students only in L. So only in L will be 8. So this statement is also used. Now, uh, we will see the statements related to L. Maximum enrollment is in L, fine. We will keep this in mind that L is greater than both G and K. First condition says the number of students enrolled only in L. We calculated 8 is double the number of students enrolled in all three sports. So, all three sports there will be 4 enrollment. Okay, so this is also done. The fourth point remains the number of students enrolled only in K equals the number of students enrolled in both K and L. So only in K equals both K and L. So let us say this number is A. So this number will be A plus 4. Right. Now how do we get the value of uh, A and A plus 4? So we know that G is 17. G is 70 and total is 39. There are total of 39 students. So these three values should add to 22. So 8 plus A plus A plus 4 equals 22. So 2A plus 12 is 22 or A is equal to 5. So we can put these values also in the Venn diagram. 4 and 9 only in K. Okay. So this is how we will make the Venn diagram. Now the first question is, what is the minimum number of students enrolled in both G and L but not in K? G and L but not in K. And we need to find the minimum such number. Now we cannot find these two values. We know that they add up to 6. Okay. So uh, we need to find the minimum number of students enrolled in both G and L but not K. So we need to find, let us say this is X, we need to find its minimum possible value. Okay, so number of students, if this is x, this will be 6 minus x. Now x means uh, the condition g total is 17, l total should be greater than k and g also. So the total in l is, uh, uh, this is 9, 9 plus 8, 17, x plus 17 and the total in k is this is 18, 24 minus x. So L is greater than k. It implies x plus 17 should be greater than 24 minus x or 2x should be greater than 7 or x is minimum will be x will be greater than 3.5. So x will be minimum 4. Minimum 4. So x can be 4. It can be 5 or 6 also, like it can be 4, 5, 6 and accordingly it will be 2, 1 or 0. So minimum value is asked, so we will take this as minimum 4. Now the next question, uh, I don't know how did they put this question, this is a sitter and if one was unable to solve the question, should have at least solved this question. 
If the number of students enrolled in KNL are in the ratio 19 ratio 22, what is the number of students enrolled in L? So obviously there is only one multiple of 22 given in the options. Second thing, like even if there were multiple options of 22, let us say 44 was also the option. There are only 39 students. So it cannot exceed uh, 22. So obviously this was a sitter and maybe it was mistakenly put into the paper. But if some smart student who did not solve the entire set managed to see this question, could have scored three marks in this question. So now let's move on to the next set of questions. So I put those values here, the Venn diagram. So we discussed that uh, these were the values we figured out previously. Now additional information is given that due to academic pressure, the students who were enrolled in all three sports were asked to withdraw from one of the three sports. So all three sports were asked to withdraw from one of the three sports. So what will happen is these four people who were enrolled in all three sports will some move to this area, some move to this area or some to this area. So as a result, if a person moves to, uh, let's say, uh, I'll denote by three different colors. So if a person moves this way, so K will reduce. If a person moves in this region, then that will lead in reduction in the value of uh, L. And if some person moves in this region, so that will reduce the number of G. Okay, so that is what we need to check. So we need to move three students, uh, four students out and this will be the shift. Now it says after the withdrawal, the number of students enrolled in G was six less than the number of students enrolled in L while the number of students enrolled in K went down by 1. So this is given as 1. So it means that this 4 will now shift to this region. One of the values will shift here. We need to shift the other three students also. Okay. Now initially we, we said that in the previous question we found out these values to be 4, 5 or 6. So let us take the three cases 4, 5 or 6. Accordingly these values are 2, 1 or 0. Okay. Now we will find the current number of students in G and current number of students in L. Now G is 17 which is fixed. L let us find out the number of students. So if you take the least number of students, we have uh, 12 plus 9, 21. It can be 22 or it can be 23. L can be 21, 22 or 23. We have to send three students out, okay. If we do not reduce anything in G, so num the reduction can be uh, like 0, 0,3, 1, 2, 2, 1 or 3, 0. That means we are reducing G by 0, 1, 2, 3. So if we reduce G by 0, that means G will remain 17 and it says that the number of students enrolled in G was 6 less than that the number of students enrolled in L. So if we take 0 students out, it will be 70 and this total should be 23 by taking out 3 students. Now the number of possible students here is 21, 22, 23. So if we take out 3 numbers, we cannot obtain a number of 23. So similarly, we will write the other cases also. So if we reduce this by uh, 1, we should get 22 here and there should be a reduction of 2. Now we see that even if we reduce 2 from 23, we will not get 22. So this case is also not possible. If we make a reduction of 2 here, we should reduce one student here and the number should become 21. So it is possible when the original number was 22. Last case also we should see that if there is 14, we should have 20 students after no reduction but there were already more than uh, 20 students. So this case was also not possible. So the only possibility is this, wherein the total number of students in G becomes 15 and L becomes 21. So G becomes 15 means reduction of 2 in G. So two students go here and one student goes in this and the original number of students in L was 22. So this case shall be considered.
Now let us draw this Venn diagram clearly to answer the remaining questions. So this is G, K and L, right? Now after the removal, no student remains here. We said that two students went to this side. So we have seven students here. This is nine, eight and seven that remain as it is. Now we were, we were having one student previously and one more added. So we have two students here and we already had five students in this and one more went to this region. So this number becomes six. Now you can check that all things match, right? The number of students in uh, G is uh, like 9 plus 6, 15 and it is 21 in L. K, there was a reduction of 1 because uh, initially we have to assume the central case. So by that central case, it was the original number was 9 plus 5, 4 plus 5 plus 1, that is 19. And now we can see that there are 18 students in L. So we had to find out which case would follow out of the three cases and the reduction in the number of students in each of the categories. So now we have, we can answer the questions. After the withdrawal, how many students were enrolled in both G and K? So both G and K, we have two students enrolled. How many students were enrolled in both G and L? So we have six students enrolled in both G and L. So this was the solution to the set. One of the questions was easy and rest of the set was difficult. Uh, like I would say these two questions were quite difficult. The previous one, the first question was moderate. So overall the set was on moderate to difficult level.